13 hundred hours pakistan standard time assalamu alaikum this is radio pakistan the news read by abdul hamid first the headlines prime minister says the government is working on ski resort feasibility to promote winter tourism in the country russian foreign minister is arriving in islamabad today on a two-day official visit to Pakistan to discuss ways to further broaden and deepen bilateral cooperation in diverse fields. In a video message on the occasion of Russian counterparts' visit, Foreign Minister said bilateral relations between Pakistan and Russia are taking a new turn and improving in the fields of economy and defense. Pakistan has expressed profound grief and sorrow over the loss of precious lives and destruction caused by floods in, in, in Indonesia. The news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan has said the government is working on ski resort feasibility to promote winter tourism in the country. In a tweet today, he said, Deosai, the high altitude plateau in Gilgit, Baltistan, has turned out to be the country's first ever winter ski resort. The Prime Minister shared a number of pictures of the local and foreign skiers traversing on the snow of the Osai. Recently, a ski traverse event was held by the Tourism Department of Gilgit, Baltistan at the Osai National Park to encourage tourism in the area. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov is arriving in Islamabad today on a two-day official visit to Pakistan to co uh, bilateral cooperation in diverse fields. Foreign Office in a statement said the Russian counterpart, besides holding delegation level talks with the Pakistani counterpart Shah Mahmood Qureshi, will also call on Prime Minister Imran Khan and have interaction with other dignitaries. During the talks between the two foreign ministers, the entire gamut of Pakistan Russia relations will be reviewed. <laughs> foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi has said the bilateral relations between Pakistan and Russia are taking a new turn and improving in fields of economy and defense. The foreign minister said both the countries want to take forward the north-south gas pipeline project. He said the discussions will be held with the Russian counterpart on promotion of trade. The foreign minister said the two countries are playing their role in the Afghan peace process. The government has decided to extend the closure of classes on 1 to 8 in the districts affected by the COVID-19 by 28th of this month. A decision to this effect was taken at a meeting of Health and Education Ministers chaired by Minister of Education Shafkat Mahmood in Islamabad today. Minister for Planning and Development Asad Umar has said increased restrictions, broader lockdowns and strong enforcement of SOPs have started showing their effect. In a tweet today, he said initial signs of positivity are slowing. He, however, said that due to momentum of last two weeks, patients on critical care and mortality will stay at high levels for some time. He asked the people to continue to follow SOPs. In another tweet, Asad Umar said over 1 million people have so far been vaccinated against COVID-19 in the country. Pakistan's permanent representative to United Nations, Munin Akram, says Pakistan's active diplomacy has fully exposed the reality of India's oppressive policies in Kashmir and against Indian Muslims. In an interview with PTV, he said people in various parts of the world, including Western countries, now recognize the nature of new India, which has a fascist face and an identity of hate against Muslims and other minorities. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, senior Congress leader Raman Bhalla has said that failures of Bharatiya Janata Party are visible on all fronts, while uncertainty, chaos and confusion are the gifts of this government to the people of Jammu and Kashmir. Inter interacting with the people of Jammu and Kashmir, Bhalla said the Kashmiri youth are suffering due to the wrong policies of the BJP government in Jammu and Kashmir. The three match series is leveled 1-1. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on link facebook.com forward slash radio Pakistan news official.